I conducted a survey on social media asking my followers and friends one simple question. What do successful people value more than their money? The answer that received the most votes by far was time. So then I started researching various successful people through interviews and articles, just, you know, finding what I can to figure out like, well, what do they do with their time? Since their time is the most valuable thing in their life, even more than what we know them for, you know, being successful, rich, famous, wealthy, whatever it is, I'm gonna share those results with you today. My name is Jay Will. This is Inspire Guys People, where we balance faith and business to guide you to your purpose. And today I'm gonna talk to you about the value of time. The first person I started researching was Warren Buffett. He was the second richest person in the world at the time that I conducted this survey. So I just want to simply understand like, man, you're the second richest person in the world. You got all the money in the world, like more money than you could ever need or use in a lifetime. So I'm like, what do you do with your time if your time is that much more valuable to you than all this money that you have? And I came across this quote, it blew my mind. And Warren Buffett said he spends 80% of his day reading books i'm like what bro like 80 80 percent 80 not 80 and i know that sounds crazy to most of us to think of spending 80 percent of your day reading books and i followed up my survey a few days later after finding that quote and i was like i just posted warren buffett spends 80 percent of his day reading books and do you not know that people were literally got, they got mad at me on that post. I can talk, I can talk, inspire guys people. I made a simple post stating the fact and people got mad at me. They were making excuses for why he could spend 80% of his day reading books. And ironically, most of the people who were like challenging me on the post, they were saying, well, it's because he has time, spending 80% of that time to read books. Now, I know a lot of people can make a lot of excuses, which we tend to do when someone does something that is extraordinary or a little different or greater than what we're doing or unimaginable. We start making excuses for why they can do it and why we can't. And what I found funny with that was like, yeah, you could say it's because he has time, but... What is the thing that you did the last time you had time? Like your last vacation, your last day off work. Like what did you spend that time doing? I didn't stop at Warren Buffett. I just started like trying to understand in general, what do successful people do with their time? The average millionaire reads one book a month, 12 books a year, average millionaire. That means some read more, some read less. Okay, cool, I get it. So then I'm like, all right, let's take it off of just money what about the average CEO? Because a lot of people want to be a CEO if you're an entrepreneur, right? Or if you work in the corporate America, in either of those scenarios, you might have aspirations to be a leader and go to the top. And here's what I learned in my studies on this. The average CEO reads a book a week. I'm like, what, bro? A book of a week. So this was about three or four years ago. And this was actually when I decided, all right, I got to start somewhere. I'm going to read a book a month. And I started doing mostly audio books, a book a month on average. And, you know, I'm, I get a little behind sometimes, you know, I'm not going to lie about that. COVID definitely set me back working from home and being in a house more. I used to read a lot more books when I was traveling on the road for business because I had, ah, time. The first correlation I found between success and time was reading and education. It seems real important to people who became successful in various ways, whether they're a billionaire investor, a self-made millionaire, or a CEO, they find value in constantly learning and reading. So I added that to my repertoire three or four years ago. And, you know, I think it's paid off so far. You know, we still working on it. But I didn't want to stop there. So I'm like, I need something else. I need at least one more thing that I can say is a correlation between successful people and how they spend their time. This most valuable thing in their life, even more valuable than their money. Obviously not more valuable than like God or your family. I'm definitely not trying to insinuate that for the people out there who was trying to catch me slipping. So then I came across a little bit of information on Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bean Bryant, God rest his soul, one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. And here's what was interesting about Kobe. Kobe said he actually spends four hours a day working out. He makes 700 to 1,000 shots. Not take 700 to 1,000 shots. He makes 
700 to 1,000 shots. That means he has to miss some. He might have to take 2,000, whatever it is, but he didn't leave the gym without making at least 700 shots a day. A day? I researched quite a few more successful people, but the results were the same, so we don't have to get into the details. The second thing I walked away with learning was you can be born good, but you got to work to be great. All of the successful people that I study and research had a couple things in common. They really value like education, reading and studying, learning. And the second thing was they value hard work. Like they put a lot of time into practicing and perfecting their craft. The Bible says to whom much is given, much is required. And that always makes me think about like, hey, whatever gifts God gave me, whatever abilities and skills he gave me, he's expecting something from me, right? And a lot of times it's real easy not to perfect those gifts and those talents because they come naturally. But what I liked about Kobe Bryant was you might have been born 6'6", that's natural. You might have been born athletic, that's natural. But making $700, uh, $700, that ain't gonna do it. Making 700 shots a day, that's hard work. You know what I'm saying? That's greatness. It's your time. So many times we want somebody to tell us. I've been in a lot of church services where some preacher is like, it's your time. It's your season. It's a new. You're like, listen, I get it. I love it. It's beautiful. But it's your time. Now, what are you going to do with it? Because all those successful people that I study, one thing that I really like understood was they were choosing to spend their time doing this thing. Nobody was making them spend their time doing this thing. They were self-motivated, they were inspired, they had what it takes to be disciplined and committed. And if you want extraordinary results, it's gonna take extraordinary sacrifice. 700 shots a day, yeah, that sounds crazy. Reading 80% of the time in a day, that sounds crazy. Reading a book a week, that sounds crazy. But so does being a CEO, an NBA champion, and one of the greatest investors in the world. Hope this blesses you. And if you enjoy this content, please like it and share. And also check out the podcast, Inspire Guys People. It's available right now on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. And you can always just Google Inspire Guys People and you're going to come across our podcast. Thank you. Have a beautiful, amazing day. It's your time, baby. What you going to do with it?